So today, thanks to Pavel, I'll be able to see some of the highlights of Irkutsk. And this now is the most beautiful church in the town. Kazakian church. This is the best observation point on Baikal Lake. Back to the normal daily routines here in Siberia. One turn, second turn, then I should have a bridge. And after the bridge, the road split on two. Okay. The conditions looks terrible, but not really. Have a look this this room. Big double bed. I found sheets, blanket, pillows everything my bed is ready i'm going to spend the night here what a difference huh yesterday rain and cold today sunny perfect i don't know probably it's around 20 degrees so now i'm gonna enjoy this part of the the town which is very interesting pavel brought me here but sure спасибо pavel it's a, like an old style, but built now, in like pedestrian area. These type of houses, wooden houses, old traditional way, of course built now, but they actually represent the old town that was actually based here. This old machine, it's a coffee, Italian restaurants, shops, beer, everything. So today, thanks to Pavel, I'll be able to see some of the highlights of Irkutsk. And this is a traditional woodwork. Of course, this is modern, built now, but in the old-fashioned way. As I said, nice, nice complex. And this now is a, a nice square over there is the museum of the region very interesting and this building actually is like 250 years old and this is the monument of uh, uh, alexander the third who actually was the first guy who built the railway to irkutsk and his face is open to east where actually actually the railway was going and this now is a nice view from the river Gala River. There's another one, Irkut River, smaller than this. Yeah, the view here is great. This is one very, very beautiful church and very old. And there is another one across the street. So now we'll go inside of this. And of course the old Orthodox tradition is to burn a candle for your family, for your health. Here in Russia it's not a problem to film into the church, but uh, everywhere around Europe it's always forbidden. This I cannot understand why there is such a piece of art. Especially the ceilings and all of this, it's just beautiful. Another beautiful monument here and the church on that side. And of course the river. This is again pedestrian street. Beautiful for walking around. And the river. And 
This now is the most beautiful church in the town. Kazakian church. Such a beautiful colors. feeling that uh, Orthodox Church are always more beautiful than the Catholic Church. Maybe because uh, I am from Orthodox Church. Maybe not, but see this. It's beautiful. I don't know how many years are taken to build all of this. This place now is really interesting. The name is Listvianka and it is located, let me show you where. See where Irkutsk is? This is Baikal Lake and this is Listvianka on the edge of Baikal Lake. And it has many of these wooden houses and they are perfect how they were before. So this is an existing home brought from somewhere in the region of Irkutsk and established here on the old-fashioned way as they were and in each one you can walk around see everything touch it see how it was really hundreds hundreds and fifty years ago it's a real houses made from locks wooden locks see how tiny is the door Ah, <laughs> look where the bed is. See how the roof is made, like a roof tiles. And of course, the local administration. <laughs> It's nice to see how the life was. Yeah, this is the local hospital. Of course, all of this is located next to the Baikal Lake, but Pavel promised to me to show me another one, nice observation point from which one I'll be able to see a big part of the lake. If you like, you can get the whole site and see if you're walking around. More and more and more. You can have coffee, you can have lunch, you can relax here, spend all day if you like. Horse ride. This is the best observation point on Baikal Lake. I spent 
I don't know how many kilometers, so let me show you. I went all the way around Baikal Lake, this road, on the way to Magadan. And then yesterday I came back from this road, again looking for best place to stop and see the whole lake, but I couldn't find. Finally, I went to Irkutsk and discussed this with Pavel. Pavel. And finally, he said to me, there is an observation point, but it is located right over there, in Listyanka. So you need to take this road all the way down to Listyanka, like 60 kilometers. And then there is a ski resort on the top of this mountain. It's 700 meters above the sea level. And then you can have this observation point, which is fantastic. Only from here, you can see how massive the lake is. It is not the right moment because of the sun. But, as I said, this is the only place that I can find to see the whole lake. And uh, another good news is that I already have a new tires. Finally, I got them yesterday and today I already mount them on the motorcycle. So tomorrow morning I will start direction Novosibirsk. After Novosibirsk is going to be Samara, Volgograd, I'll go to Krim and so on and so on. But yeah, best spot so far once again. Baikal Lake. Baikal Lake itself is located on 450 some something meters above the sea level and here now we are on 700. Good morning from Irkutsk. What time it is? 6 o'clock and 12 minutes. All done, I packed. Not really happy, my rear tire was completely down. I don't know what they have done yesterday when I changed it, but it looks like something was not right. Anyway, something was not right. I'm gonna check it on the road and if necessary I need to open it and see what is the problem but ah, man. it holds the air but we'll see for how long long story short the guy who changed the tire yesterday just tight too much the air blader this one here and this caused the air breather actually took it off from the wheel and that's why it's dropped the air not completely solely but it's dropping the air and uh, he is not here today and this was another one guy who said oh, i'm really sorry but i cannot do it i never done it before so basically i did everything by myself just using their tire levers and of course paid for it but anyway now i have tire better is to move because now it's already 8 45 I lost almost almost two hours here not good but nothing I can do about it I'll be more strict and I hope that I'll be in Taishet on time now I don't have a spare tube I need to buy it somewhere I have still have 21 front which I can use in the rear as well but it shouldn't be like that back to the normal daily routines here in Siberia a lot of traffic straight roads but this is the situation for now not much to film today on the straight roads but at least I can have some speed like 110 and cover many kilometers 450 already I still got like 200 kilometers to the final point and I guess I will be there in about 2 hours, 3 hours maximum by Ronovka this is the turn that I need by Ronovka the bike post actually is located in by Ronovka not exactly in Taishet
after I spent all day on that busy straight road now this here is like a gift by Ronovka one turn, second turn then I should have a bridge and after the bridge the road split on two and I have to take the left one by Ronovka Finally, after 9 hours and 680 kilometers, I am here. Alright, here you got a bridge. Golden bridge. And the reason I am here is because I am going to spend the night here. I am going to uh, overnight in uh, one of the bike posts a big chain in the different locations around the country where you can spend the night for free but what I'm gonna show you now I'm sure that you haven't seen before and I seriously doubt that you can see something like this in the motorcycle travel videos anyway the place is not luxury in any way I know exactly what it is because I already was there inside this is the place Bike Post Taishet And before, because there is nothing around No shops No cafes or something like that I went to the first town Taishet To eat something And then I come back here Now This will be the place and this is the locking system I already know how it works like this okay as I said place is very interesting very interesting I'll be glad to spend the night here it's not luxury but I really don't mind because chances like this are very rare okay a local bike post actually I will park the motorcycle here because it's gonna rain, to rain tonight we'll keep it the main gate and of course the interior pictures on motorcycle team fridge oh by the way with drinks excellent I can have a beer this is the kitchen they said this is the kitchen yeah a lot of stickers I'll put my sticker here as well this house is probably I don't know at least 150 years old maybe more this is traditional Russian uh, oven it's like, like a fireplace where you can cook everything and get warm at the same time and this is the bedroom okay I have to choose I'm alone so I have all the possibilities it will be this bed all right very interesting man very interesting very interesting let me show you where is the water and now it's just sunset fantastic this is the water pipe all right this one here Ooh, water excellent Quiet, quiet. Ah. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Fantastic. I love it, man. I love it. Let me now close this gate. Okay. 
like this then like this and then it's like this okay so we need to go there there and there door security locked the conditions looks terrible but not really have a look this this room big double bed i found sheets blanket pillows everything my bed is ready i'm going to spend the night here Six o'clock. Oh, yeah. Again, wake up at five, but it's normal when you go to bed nine or ten o'clock. <coughs> you just wake up. It's normal. It was a nice place. I relaxed properly. Now the moment is thirteen degrees. It will probably rain today. This is what the forecast said. But we'll see what will be. It is a forecast, it is not a diagnosis, so you never know. But anyway, many thanks to these guys to organize all of these places where you can relax properly and most importantly for free, because at the end, motorcycle trips are not cheap and uh, this save a lot of money a lot of money hotel here hotel there and at the end even if the hotels are cheap like here in russia it's still a price like 15 20 euro per day when you have many days like me it became really burden on some stage anyway let's now go to the coffee that i was yesterday over there i can have tea and maybe some breakfast even though i'm not really hungry at the moment but we'll do it my ronovka early morning I 
Bayshet is located five kilometers west from Bayronovka. It's nothing more than a small village or a small town in the area. There is a Rosneft petrol station that I hope works. Yes, it works. I'm gonna refill the tank even though it's not empty because I'm here anyway. And the coffee was there, so I'll do everything at the same time. I seriously doubt that this coffee will work even though it is written 24 hours, but I'm gonna check, they might they might surprise me I can see people inside <laughs> it's it Friday and Saturday all the time and today I believe is is what is today Saturday okay let's see Добро утро, работайте, да? Ого, отлично. Сейчас. All right, I ate in this cafe for the second time. But even though I cannot recommend it, first time was not good. But now because there are no other options, or at least I haven't searched for another option, I ate here again. But man, this inside, outside, everything is perfect, organized, well decorated. But they need, definitely need a new cook uh, but anyway my stomach is full now you know, every morning I eat eggs but the eggs that they made now were I, I don't know how even to explain <laughs> it was not really uh, easy to, or not, it was not polite to film the food anyway Let's go on my way now. This now is Taishet. As I said, it is not a something that you have to see. A few factories that probably doesn't work anymore. And very very poor region. Potholes everywhere as you can see. But I am just a tourist going through this place. Not much to see anyway, so I hope that this is the road. I'm sure that this is the road here, right? And then I should be able to go on the main on the main road. 255 direction Novosibirsk. Krasnoyarsk, right. I saw it on the map how it looks like. And then I follow the science and my logic, so it's not that difficult. As I said before, in Russia you don't need any GPS, anything, because the signs are very clear. And now this road is a wonderful start of the day before I jump into the main road with the traffic 